Your journey towards medical school begins right now and a key hurdle you must clear is the medicine personal statement. But for the 2025 UK Century Cycle, the format has completely changed. It's no longer a single long essay. Instead, UCAS now requires you to answer three specific structured questions guiding what you need to write. Before you even consider typing a single word, you must first understand the primary goal. What are admissions tutors truly looking for? They are carefully assessing your insight into the field of medicine. Do you really understand what being a doctor entails on a daily basis? You must show them that you grasp the full realistic picture, acknowledging both the incredible rewards and the challenges of this demanding profession. Tutors are searching for compelling evidence of your core personal qualities such as empathy, unwavering integrity and a strong sense of ethical judgment. You also need to demonstrate your capacity for resilience, providing examples of how you've handled pressure or coped with difficult situations. A deep scientific curiosity is non-negotiable. You must be able to show a real sustained passion for the science behind medicine. And most crucially, they want to see your ability to reflect, which means being able to learn from all of your past experiences both good and bad. It's essential that you avoid the biggest cliches. Don't just say you want to help people, show them exactly how you've already done so. A statement that feels like a generic pre-written template will be very quickly dismissed. Your authentic individual choice must come through clearly. We recommend you start a reflection diary today. Actively write down experiences and what they taught you about yourself in the context of medicine. Make sure you thoroughly research the specific values and missions of the medical schools you're applying to, then show how you align your own values. This is not just a simple box ticking exercise for you to complete, it's your single best chance to reveal the thoughtful doctor within you. Every single sentence you write must be building a compelling, evidence-based case for your suitability for this highly demanding university course. With that foundational mindset firmly in place, now let's begin to break down the first and arguably most important question you'll face. The first question specifically asks, why do you want to study this course? This section is your dedicated motivation statement and it has to be convincing. Your opening needs a hook, but an authentic one. Start with a powerful, relevant experience that genuinely shapes your decision. Maybe it was a book you read, a specific patient interaction you witnessed, or a science documentary that fascinated you. Whatever sparks your interest in medicine, in medicine, make sure you make it clear to the admissions tutors. Talk about what fascinates you about the human body, illness and the science of medicine. Show your intellectual curiosity. Connect your academic interest to medicine. How did learning about cellular respiration and biology make you think about metabolic diseases? Your answer should show the admissions tutors that you've explored your motivation from several different angles, proving that it's not a superficial interest. You should aim to connect your academic interest to human biology and science directly to the hands-on human-to-human -human practice of clinical medicine. Demonstrate that you have a mature, realistic understanding of the field, which means acknowledging that the profession is not always as glamorous as it seems. You could consider mentioning a medical specialty that fascinates you, as this demonstrates that you've engaged in proactive, wider reading. For instance, have you read articles from the British Medical Journal? Mentioning this can be a way to show your genuine intellectual curiosity. This demonstrates a clear commitment to lifelong learning, which is an absolute essential personal trait for any successful and competent doctor. You can link your own personal values, such as compassion, directly to the fundamental role of a doctor in society. Whenever possible, you should share a brief, powerful anecdote that actually shows your motivation in action, rather than simply telling them about it. For example, you could describe a time how you are truly fascinated by how a multidisciplinary team worked together to solve a complex patient problem. Remember to always be as specific as possible. Don't just say, a doctor inspired me. Instead say, I observed how a doctor used tailored communication to explain a diagnosis with empathy. This first answer truly sets a tone and the precedent for your entire application. You must make sure that it feels genuinely powerful and genuine. Your answer should leave the reader in no doubt whatsoever that you have a deep, considered and sustained commitment to a career in medicine. Now, let's move on to the second question, which is how have your qualifications in your studies prepared you for this particular course of study? You can start to see how similar this is to the old style of the personal statement, as you still have to mention many of the same things. This is your dedicated chance to explicitly connect your academic life and achievements directly to the rigorous demands of attending medicine. 
You must carefully explain the specific and relevant skills that you've gained from studying each of your A-level subjects. When discussing biology, you can detail your understanding of complex physiological systems or perhaps the intricacies of cellular processes. When you mention chemistry, you should highlight your firm grasp of molecular interactions and your analytical and problem-solving skills. Do not neglect your third A-level subject, for example if it's maths, talk about data analysis. Be sure to mention a specific topic or even a school project that you found particularly fascinating and then carefully explain why. If you've completed an EPQ, this is the perfect opportunity to discuss your research skills and your ability to manage your time effectively. Above all, you must focus on valuable transferable skills you've developed, such as critical thinking, data interpretation. You need to show the admissions tutors that you understand all the qualities required of a doctor, and these are clearly set out by Oxford University and the Medical Schools Council. This section is designed to prove that you not only have the required grades, but also the solid intellectual foundation that's needed to succeed on the course. And finally, we arrive at question three, which asks, what else have you done to prepare for this course outside of your formal education? This is a section where you'll need to discuss your work experience placements, your volunteering and any other relevant extracurricular activities. The golden rule for this entire section is deep and meaningful reflection. It's the key that unlocks the true value of your experiences. You cannot just provide a simple list of what you did. For every single experience, you must thoughtfully explain how you've learned from it. When you talk about your hospital or GP placement, focus on what you realistically observed and what you came to understand about being a doctor. What did you learn about the complex doctor-patient relationship or the vital importance of clear, unambiguous and empathetic communication skills? Try to describe one specific situation you witnessed and then thoughtfully explain how it directly impacts your personal view. You should discuss your volunteering experiences in detail. For example, working in the care home demonstrates empathy. How clearly did you learn your communication skills when interacting with vulnerable people? Try to provide a clear example of. Remember that experiences outside of a healthcare setting are also very valuable. A part-time job in retail, for instance, proves responsibility. Likewise, being part of a sports team is a great way of demonstrating collaboration, discipline, and your ability to work under pressure. You must make an effort to link every single experience you mentioned directly back to one or more of the core qualities needed to be a good doctor. This section demonstrates your maturity, initiative and proactive approach to your own continuous development. This new question based format from UCAS is a fantastic opportunity for you to showcase all of your strengths in a clear and well structured way. Remember, your personal statement has to be constructed very carefully. Start this entire process early, plan your answers with care and don't rush it. Good luck.